and welcome to my channel. I'm Abby from Abby Sue Costumes, and today we're going to look at how I hand sewed my green leather gloves. I made a book prop for a previous costume, and I had just enough green leather left to make a pair of gloves for my historical costumes as well as everyday wear. Green is my color. I love using lambskin leather as it sews very easily by machine if needed, but also by hand with a leather needle, which is the direction I went today. As someone who is tall, my hands and fingers are also very long compared to normal gloves, so I learned to make my own spandex ones to match color as well as have the right size. This was the first time I decided to make a pair of leather gloves, so let's get started. I had traced a pattern 10 years ago from another glove project, so I have no idea what pattern it came from. I know it was one of the big three. Butterick 6398 seems to come close. I traced the pieces onto lambskin leather with a sharpie. The pattern I had was a medium. I expanded it a bit to make it a large, extended the fingers by about half an inch, and extended the cuff as the pattern was meant to have an added larger cuff. I'm using a hand sewing leather needle. It cuts through the leather as you sew it to make it easier and so you don't have to punch each of your holes beforehand. It makes it similar to sewing fabric. I started with sewing the thumb piece together, one eighth inch seam. The pattern calls for that for most of the seams. I'm using a running back stitch and regular polyester thread. Finger gussets next! Each of them need to be sewn along the triangle that is cut out. And now the long process of sewing the gussets to the main handpiece. There are three that need to be placed up and down the fingers. sits higher than the other in this pattern for finger comfort, and better fit. I watch a lot of TV while hand sewing. It's nice to just zone out and relax with my project. I've been watching Jane Austen movies, and the... the Borges? The Borges? 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 I think that's how you say it. Inspiration for future historical sewing projects! Fold the pattern in half once I've installed all three gussets and attach them to the other side to complete the fingers. While finishing the main body of the hand, I found out that it was a little too big. I had to return and sew about a quarter of an inch tapered in. And it fits! Attaching the thumb is much like attaching a sleeve. You have to line everything up and sew along the edge. You can see I used a few pins. Normally you would want to use clips, as pins create holes in the leather, but I'm lazy and use pins. It really makes not much of a difference in the end. The pups, Bean and Diana, love to just snooze while I work on my projects. Makes it hard to move, but at least I stay warm. Bean is the Chihuahua Terrier mix. Diana is the Corgi Chihuahua mix. And then, you guessed it, I have a second glove to do. Same thing all over again in mirror image. Turning the fingers to the outside involves a tool of some kind on the inside. I used my small scissors here, but a chopstick or the end of a pen does work a little better, and less chance of accidentally poking through. Mm -hmm. 
They feel great putting them on, and they look amazing so far. But just one more thing left to do. Time to bind the cuff. The final finishing involves a long piece of leather sewn to the outside of the cuff, and then wrapped around the edge and stitched in the ditch along the edge of the binding. Finally, I cut the edge of the binding off on the inside of the cuff. And that's it! My leather gloves are complete! Thank you for watching my sewing video! If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below! Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future costume and sewing fun! Thank you.